Hi guys, my name is Bappi Ahmed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we'll be implementing one image classification model. Uh, that model will be able to classify uh, rock, paper and scissors. So I think you know this is a, a very interesting game uh, we used to play actually uh, in our college days and all. So uh, let's try to create one uh, like image classification model. So here I'll be using YOLO uh, 11 model and I'll be uh, fine tuning one specific YOLO 11 model because YOLO 11 model is having different different kinds of variant. So let me show you. So if I go to the YOLO 11 uh, GitHub, so it is having one model view. So there uh, you can see it is having different different models. Let me show you. So let's say uh, I want to perform the classification. So inside classification, see it is having nano model, small model, medium model, large model, x large model. Okay. So here I'll be using this nano model. You can also use uh, these are the model. It's up to you. So let's uh, do the fine tuning uh, with this data. The data actually uh, uh, present inside the RoboFlow. So this data is already available inside RoboFlow universe. So simply just open the RoboFlow, RoboFlow um, universe. So inside RoboFlow universe, we will be getting this data. So simply just try to click on the classification, and you simply you can search here. Let's see, you need rock, paper, uh, scissor data. Okay, this one. So simply just try to search. Now guys, uh, this is the data guys. Okay, just try to open it up. So after opening, uh, you will see this data. Uh, and if you want to see the image, just uh, click on the image. And these are the image guys. Okay, so it is having rock, paper and scissors. Okay, this kinds of gas share. Actually, this uh, image actually they collected and they uh, annotated because this data is already annotated here. Uh, and I think you know what is the like classification annotation. We have to create a folder structure there. Okay, so uh, it is already arranged everything in a folder. So we just need to get it from the RoboFlow universe and how to get it from the RoboFlow universe case so click on the download data set and after that you will see this option folder structure uh, select the show code uh, option and try to continue and you will see one code snippet okay just try to copy this code snippet and here you just need to mention it okay so then if you execute it it will uh, download the data from the RoboFlow universe so first of all let me install this alternatives because YOLO 11 is already present inside alternatives okay hmm. now I will be downloading the data from the universe done now if i refresh left hand side see you can see this is the data folder now if i open it up see it is having train validation test now let's say open up uh, so let's say i will open up the test and inside that you can see the folder structure so inside paper we are having all the paper uh, gas share okay so these are the paper gas share then we are having the rock gas share. So you can also collect your own image if you want, but this image is already available in the universe. You can use it as it is. So guys, uh, this is the folder structure. Okay. Uh, if you are doing the classification task. Now simply, uh, I'll be loading this model, the nano model I showed you. This is the nano model I will be loading. So here I've given the model name and I also want to load the data. So here you just need to give the uh, path of the data. So this is my path of the data. Okay, inside this folder, my data set is present. Now here uh, we'll be training only 20 epochs and this is the image size that means during training actually they use this particular size okay. Now let me uh, start the training. Uh, so if you're using YOLO 11 it's like uh, very easy to uh, do the training uh, with the alternatives package. And in my YouTube channel I already created tutorial related YOLO 11. So there I showed you how we can uh, use this YOLO 11. What is YOLO 11 okay. So everything I discussed. So guys you can see training is going on so it will take some time. So I'll pause the video uh, and I will come back once this uh, training is complete. So guys, as you can see, my training is completed. Now if I refresh and go to this run folder. So inside run folder, actually, uh, it has saved my model. So inside that I'm having another folder called classify. Uh, train and inside wait, uh, this base.pt is my trained model. Okay. And these are some uh, evaluation matrices. So let me plot some of the matrices and uh, let's try to see how my model is performing. So let me plot this result.png. Okay, so image is not defined. First of all, I have to import it. Then I can visualize it. See, this is my training losses, validation losses. Okay, and this is the accuracy. So uh, still, uh, you can uh, like increase the epoch size if you want to get a good model. I just only train 20 epochs here. Okay, that's why you can see the zigzag issue. Okay, so now let's load our train model, which is available inside my weight folder. So just try to copy the path and try to mention here. And here what I can do, I can just keep on test image. So let me sh 
show you. So I'll go to the test folder. Let's say I'll uh, first of all try with the paper image. I'll download. You can also download one rock image. Even you can also download one uh, this scissor image. Okay. Now let's upload these are the image in my uh, Google Colab. Now you can try one by one. So let's first of all copy the rock. And here just keep the image path and try to execute the code. Uh, so guys, you can see uh, it has uh, actually classified, but uh, the text is in a white. Okay, you can see it's in a white color. That's why uh, background is also white. That's why it's not visible. Uh, so what you can do uh, from Google itself, you can uh, download any other, let's say rock gesture image. Okay, uh, with a different background color and you can uh, upload here, you can execute. Okay, you will see that uh, it will classify as a rock. So whatever image actually I'm having, uh, it is in white background. That's why I will leave this uh, part to you. You can download any other image and you can execute this line of code, okay, with a different background. So yes, guys, this is all about from this video. Uh, thank you so much.